hi and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is fumi and today i'm going to be showing you how to sew the overalls that we cut in the previous video so if you haven't seen that video you can go back and check it out i've linked it in the description box and without further ado let's get straight into this so here i'm just um cutting out my pieces i ironed them with like fusible interfacing or sd and i'm just cutting everything out so that i can start sewing this piece right here is the waistband so i'm starting out with my pockets so i cut out three um, patch pockets to use for this project and i'm just going to go ahead and fold over the top so that i can hem the top of the pockets so that's the very first thing that i'm doing so here's what they look like and i'm just going to go ahead and press them and this is what i have all neatly pressed and ready to be attached so now this is the rough sketch that i did and um, as you can see this top area here is where we're going to start from this is what it looks like from the back and this is just the placement for the other two pockets so now starting with that front piece i have two pieces of it so i'm going to start with this one first of all i want to attach my pockets to the front so i'm just going to place it carefully at the center of the front make sure it's properly aligned and then um, i'm going to use my pins to hold it in place before sewing but before that i'm going to use my iron to press it as you can see that i've done here i folded over by like half an inch all around and I used my iron to press it so that it will be easier for me to sew. And then for the top thread on my machine, I'm going to actually be using two different colors of thread. I haven't tried this before, but this is just something that I want to try out and see how it goes. So I'm threading my machine just like normal, but like with two threads instead. It was a bit of a challenge threading the needle, but I got around... I got around that eventually and so it's all threaded and ready to go threaded yeah threaded and <laughs> ready to go so i'm just going to pin my pockets in place just so it doesn't move around while i'm sewing and i would get straight to it now for the back pockets i'm also going to take the um back of the legs of the um overalls and then i'm going to pin my pockets in place and now i'm just sewing on the pockets here's what it looks like so you can see my thread I eventually went with the yellow and orange instead of the orange and orange thread so this is what it looks like after this is done you can take out the pins and then now for that front part of the overalls i'm just laying the second piece on top of the one that we just um, sew the pockets onto and i'm going to sew all around and leave this bottom part open so i'm just using my pin to hold everything in place first of all and then once that is done and everything is secure i went ahead to sew and now on those corners i'm just cutting like just snipping it just a bit on all four corners so that it's not bulky by the time i turn it right side out and then on this curved line i'm using my scissors to carefully cut like just small snips here and there so that it looks neat and flat when when i turn it so you can see that everything looks quite nice like this and then here's what it looks like after i pressed it now we have that front area next up we're going to be attaching the waistband 
so my waistband there are two pieces that we cut if you remember from the last video and so i'm just going to fold it over in half and then snip it with my scissors just to mark the midpoint and then i'm going to do the same thing on the the body of my overall so that i can match up the midpoint so as you can see here i'm making sure the midpoint of the waistband and this body's area of my overall match up perfectly and then i sandwich the overall top in between the waistband and then use my pins to hold everything in place so i'm going to sew all the way around and then leave that top part open And here's what I have. So like I did before, I'm going to use my scissors to snip the corners so that it's not bulky when I turn it right side out. So just carefully and make sure not to cut your thread so that you don't have to stitch over it again. And once that is done, I'm just turning it right side out using my scissors to just really get the, those sharp corners. I really love how these overalls are coming out so far. It's looking good. And here it is after I've pressed it. So as you can see, um, the next piece would be these pockets for the front legs. So this is one leg of um, one of the two front legs. This is the crotch area and this is the pocket opening. Like we have right here in this sketch that opening right there this is it right here and this is the crutch area make sure not to mix them up <laughs> so now these are the two pieces we cut for the pockets so we're going to first of all take this piece and then lay it right sides facing each other and then we're going to run a stitch right here on the curved area so after doing that you can see it's firmly stitched in place i'm going to use my scissors to just snip here and there all around and then turn it right side out and after doing that i went ahead to press it so you can see it's nice and flat and then i'm going to take this other piece and place it underneath that just like this But first of all, I'm going to stitch just on the edge of that um, pocket opening. Alright, here we are. So now I'm going to take this second piece and I'm going to place it just underneath there just like this. Make sure to line it up properly. Making sure everything is in place. And then, once I'm sure that everything is lined up and everything is fine, I'm just going to pin both, both um, pieces together. As you can see, I lifted up the leg and I'm just holding in place the two pieces for the pocket. And then I'm going to stitch just along this area just like this just to close up the pockets on the inside I don't want the stitches showing on the outside and here's what we have so I went ahead and did it on both legs and this is the final result it looks really good Now we're going to join the crotch areas together of the two front legs. So we're just going to lay them out um, right side of the fabric facing each other like this. And then I'm going to sew. So I'm going to join them at the crotch area just like this, just at this area here. Just run a stitch right through that area. And now for the back piece. As you can see here, we have a bit of a smaller bodies for the back and then we have our waistband and then the straps that come all the way to the front. So 
so now first of all i'm going to start with the straps so you can see each one has two pieces and i've laid them right sides facing each other so i'm going to go ahead and sew all along this area and leave that that bottom side open so that i can turn it right side out so here's what i mean i've sewn all around and i'm just snipping the corners just this quick snip on the corners carefully so that i don't cut my thread right so i've left this side open so that i can turn the straps through that opening this opening right here on the end so i'm just using my scissors so that i can get to those small corners and this is what it looks like and here the boots are after i've pressed them flat and neat now we're taking the bodies i'm taking the bodies area and i'm going to attach the straps while also sewing these parts together so i've taken my two straps and i'm just measuring to show you how long they are so they're both about 11 inches long and so i'm just placing them trying to get sort of like a v shape because as you can see from this sketch they are not straight so it's sort of a slight v shape and then i'm just taking one piece of my bodies and placing it over the both of them upside down and then the other one i'm lining it up so that these straps are sort of sandwiched in between both pieces just like you can see here and i'm going to stitch all the way around like this uh, while also holding the straps in place and as soon as i've done that i'm just snipping the edges and now i'm just going to turn it around so you can see how it looks now very much like what we have in our sketch alright so next up is our waistband so you remember how we went how we did it for the front just place it over and then sort of like a little sandwich and i did the exact same thing but in this case you can see here that i folded it about half an inch on the lower area just like this which i also did for the front as well by the way i just forgot to film that i'm so sorry about that so next up we're going to the legs the back of the back legs so here they are i've attached the pockets as you can see and so i'm just going to join both of them from the crotch so taking my pieces and laying them right sides facing each other just like you can see me doing here and then i'm just going to run my stitch across the crotch area and this is what it looks like So you can see that it's a bit wider than our waistband by about half an inch on both sides and there's a reason for that so i have here i cut out two rectangular pieces and i've ironed some um sd on it on the both of them so they're both about seven inches long and then about three inches wide each of them and I'm going to attach them on both sides just going to run a straight stitch to attach them on both sides and fold it over like this and that's going to serve as the area where we'll put our buttons and our buttonholes because overalls have like buttons on the sides 
so this is what it looks like right now after i've attached those little rectangles to the sides so now i'm just going to attach it to the waistband but first of all this is what it looks like after i sew those little rectangular straps i mean sorry rectangular pieces And here's what it looks like after I've attached it to the waistband and pressed it neatly. Now for the front piece, remember we already joined the two front legs together and I also attached those rectangular um, pieces on the sides of the front as well. So now I'm just going to attach the legs of the front to the body. And that's what I'm doing right here. And this is what it looks like. Here's what we have so far our front piece and then our back piece so it's coming together really nicely and at this point like i was just really excited because i was worried about how this was going to turn out so yeah so now i'm just laying my front piece on top of the back piece right sides facing each other aligning making sure that the waistbands align So I'm going to start sewing from this point right here, not from the waistband, from this point. So a few inches below the waistband, just around where that rectangular piece um, stops. And then I'm also going to join the legs together on the inner thighs as well. And here's what it looks like after doing that. So I haven't hemmed it yet, but I've joined the legs together. But then at this point, I noticed an issue because on the waistband, there's supposed to be a button and a buttonhole on this area. So like when you put a button on this area, the two pieces are going to kind of like overlap. Like by the time you, you fix the buttons, just like this. But I didn't make allowance for that when I was joining it on the side. So it's like looking weird and like bulky on the waist so i'm going to have to open up this the seam on this side here and then take it in by a bit so instead i'm just going to come in like here so take it in a bit more when I'm sewing the side seam. So here's what I mean. Like you can see, I've pinned where the buttons are supposed to be. I haven't put my buttons yet, but I've taken it in and now it looks better. It looks a lot better and it lays flat when you look at it from the side. So I'm just taking out the pin to show you. I just made the overlap on these sides just a bit more so like by maybe an inch and a half so you can see instead of the regular half inch seam so there's there we go and this is what we have so far here's our sketch again by the way i'm just really happy that the outfit actually looks like the sketch and i've sewn my buttonholes let me know if you'd like a quick um mini tutorial on how to use the buttonhole foot on this tabletop machine and i'm going to just fix my buttons on the sides on the front this is what the side looks like I really really love how this jumpsuit and I'm, I'm so sorry how these overalls look and I've hemmed I've gone ahead to hem the bottom 
so i just need to fix my buttons and we would be done here we are practically already done and here is the finished result like wow just wow i made this for my three-year-old cousin and i just it's so cute this is the back and then this is the front i also really love the buttons it went so well with, with the fabric i wasn't so sure about it at first but yeah this is this is the final result let me know what you think in the comment section and if you have any questions thank you